Dennis, talk a little bit about uh, what you saw in Brian. Obviously a prolific scorer with the team. You guys are familiar with him. Uh, why did this make sense for you guys? I mean, it, it makes sense on, on all levels in terms of, you know, we know Brian very well, you know, spending two summers with us. Uh, and he fits the way we play, you know. I, I think uh, that's the key for us in terms of uh, we want players to understand how to play in our system, and he's clearly shown that over the two, two, two summers he's been able to do that. So, uh, you know, his work ethic uh, is unbelievable. Uh, and, and, but then you add to the fact that he can score goals, and, which is important for a goal scorer. So we're extremely excited uh, to have him, uh, you know, to be able to get him with our 16th pick. What parts of the game in particular have you been impressed with, Brian? The scoring, you know, I think that's that's as a goal scorer, as a forward, that's that's what you're you're paid to do, and, and he's been able to do that uh, in college, and obviously now with, with the PDL team. Uh, but more importantly, too, I think he understands and it fits the way we want to play. Uh, so his work ethic off the ball, uh, his pressing, uh, it makes it easier for the guys uh, behind him. So you know, we feel uh, that's an important quality for for our forwards and players that we're going to bring in our system that they truly understand how we want to play, and he's been able to show that. So. You guys obviously appreciate what he brings and what he can do, but with you guys picking so late, were you guys worried at all about not being able to get him? Yeah, you know, uh, you know there was a chance, you know, again, because I think if, if, if people kind of do their homework you know, throughout the season and not just base it on the combine, I think, uh, you know, they, they would know that, you know, he, he's a quality player, you know, with uh, a lot of twos. And so, you know, we, we were happy that he felt uh, <laughs> in that spot for us. You took a timeout right before this pick. You guys have been sitting out there for more than an hour and a half. What precipitated? We just you? wanted to make things interesting a little bit, you know. <laughs> have you guys right. thinking about something, you know? So our fans enjoyed it. So. So we can call this a homegrown draft pick, I guess. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I mean, I think PDA might have an issue with that, but no. Look, we're we're happy because look, he. We feel like he's part of the family because, uh, you know, he spent the last two summers with us. Uh, and so he's been able to train with our first team and, and been in there. Our coaching staff has seen him. Uh, so for us, it's just it's just a perfect fit. Where did he play for the PLC? Where do you see him fitting in best for you guys? Do you get the different system? Forward, man. Man scores straight goals up, straight, straight up. up. Yeah, you know, that's that's what, that's what he's good at. And, uh, and again, I think if, if, if you go back and watch those games in the PDL in terms of you know the, his ability to just to be connected with the team and work for the team on the defensive part because our game is about pressing and counter pressing, and he brings that and and you need to have that mentality and now you have the bonus of the fact that he can finish finish plays because he's shown that and so for us it's like you get those two combinations it's you know we got a guy by the name of Bradley Phillips who does that pretty well so I'm not comparing him to him but I'm just saying that you know the qualities are there for us in terms of to make sure that we have uh, guys that understand that part. They were going to be selecting you with this? Uh, no, they didn't. I was not aware that I was going to be picked. Uh, you, obviously, you're a Jersey guy. You grew up watching this team play? Yeah, I have. You know, I have a lot of friends on the team, too. I, so I grew up watching them and supporting them. Comfortability for you to come over? Yeah, it's definitely comfortable. I spent two summers with the system, their style of play, their system, their environment. So I'm happy to be in a place you know, I'm familiar with, comfortable. What do you take away from your time at Duke as you go to the Red Bulls? Uh, you know, Duke, Duke helped me a lot prepare for the next level. You know, we try and have a very professional environment, and I hope that that tr translate that over to the you know the next stage. What do you think your, the challenges are going to be for you taking that level, that next step up to professional? Time? Yeah, I think just overall adapting to the professional environment. You know, it's not just a game anymore. You know, it's a life. It's a it's how you earn your money, and you know, it's a lot more uh, brutal out there. So you got to come to work every day, fight hard, and try to earn a spot. You kind of grew up with this team. You've been a part of this team. Do you have any early memories that you kind of hold special? Anything that you kind of? Well, I didn't grow. I grew up playing for PDA, so Rebels were kind of our rival team that we played against. So it was kind of funny thinking how it comes full circle now. And you know, I couldn't be happier, even though you know, root against them for when I was playing against them in academy, but happy to be a part of the senior team. College season is not as long as a professional season. What, what has Duke done to prepare you for the next phase of your career? Yeah, you know, obviously college is a lot shorter, but we, we did get in some uh, high-level games in the spring. You know, we practice every day and just try and try to uh, you know re restructure kind of a professional environment throughout the spring as much as best as we can with the uh, NCAA regulations and everything. When you did uh, attend Red Bull Arena, do you remember any memorable moments or games? Uh, I think it was a World Cup qualifier game that I was there that I thought was special. You know, the, the New York, New Jersey soccer environment is a great place, and I can't wait to be a part of it. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Thank you. How does it feel to be picked by the New York Rebels? It's crazy. Um, <laughs> wow. 
My mind's just blown. Um, the Red Bulls, I mean, I had a good interview with them. I really like the, the style of play, and, and um, you know, they're not afraid to give young players a chance and stick with them. So I just I like the way they play, and uh, I just want to thank them for picking me and having faith in me. Nico, how would you describe your style of play to Red Bulls? Uh, I would say I'm more of a football player than a soccer player. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not the biggest guy, but I use my uh, my strengths are probably my mentality and um, more of a psychological game. So I bring a lot of that to the, to the field. Are you surprised at how many players from Akron have been drafted in MLS? Um, that, yeah, that's what Akron does. Akron produces a lot of pros, and um, I'm just glad to be being uh, on the list. So, yeah. Good. So just so let's talk about these picks, especially um, – Brian, a bunch of forwards you took, and then a very uh, small defender. Yes, uh, we found a Connor Laid project. Um, no, so starting with Brian White, uh, a guy we know well. He's been with our PDL team for two years, MVP of that league last year, leading scorer. So, uh, you know, he's had, uh, he's from New Jersey, he knows the club. Um, he knows what we're about. So, you know, we were excited that he was available for that pick. And you know we'll get him into our group and, and get him going uh, at a professional level. What uh, sort of oh, sorry? Go ahead. No. What sort of attributes were you been impressed with when he played well, for the? Well, he PDA? works. He works hard. Uh, he works against the ball. He's clever around the goal. He's physical. He can finish plays in a lot of different ways. He's athletic. So, you know, he's got a lot of qualities that give him uh, a real chance to to become a good player. So, that's often what you're looking for is is guys who fit our style, but also that physically have a chance. And I think Brian fits that category. Do these players you picked today are, are are there realistic chances to make the first team, or are at this point you're looking to really fill out the reserve? Well, I think you have to have an open mind to what it might look like, but also understand that what's most important is entering them into a development path that gives them the best chance to succeed long term. And that's the benefit of what we do uh, with the USL team and, and certainly even now in Brian's case with the PDL team. So uh, they'll have a chance to become real pros, they'll have a chance to understand the Red Bull way and, and then it'll be up to them a little bit to, to see how good they can be. So, uh, but, but this is, this is what we do, develop young, young talented players into Red Bull players and we're excited. Do you guys have up, up your sleeves? Do you have many more left, or is this is this pretty much yeah. the problem? No, I think we've got a few more things that we're still working on. So some of them are out there, some of them aren't. Uh, obviously, preseason's right around the corner, so there's not a lot of time to waste. Uh, but we're we're hopeful to, to continue to add to the roster. Um, some of our guys won't. You know, Tyler will be gone, Kamar will be gone, uh, so we won't see those guys until almost February. But We'll be able to start the process, and we've got to get ready for, for a quick match here coming up against Olympia. But I, I like that. It gives, it gives preseason a real sense of urgency. You know, with Sasha being traded, how do you uh, re, uh, bulk up the midfield with well, the Champions League? Right? Yeah, well, that's, I think, some of our moves that we're going to make here in the near future will be to, to continue to find, find really good players to fit into to our midfield. So, uh, like I said, I hope we're close. Hope we're close. Let me give me a second to also talk about Nico and Tom. Okay, so you know Nico Devera, like we we talked about, he's a smaller left back, but uh, we have been looking for a left-footed left back, uh, you know, to to develop. Um, we think that he's athletic, that he can run, he's aggressive, he's smart. So we think that there's potential for him to be a really good fit. And and you know when we had an interview with him, we we came away with a lot of positive feelings, and and he. He reached out to us and let us know that he this was the place he wanted to be. So that's always exciting for us. And then the other one, Tom Barlow, uh, we were surprised that he didn't make the combine. So a University of Wisconsin kid that played along Chris Mueller. Uh, Chris got a lot of the accolades for, for how the Wisconsin team did this year, but Tom Barlow was, was a big part of their success as well. So he's a guy that can run a lot, uh, has a good work rate, is athletic, is tall. Uh, you know, but but not just the target forward has mobility and, and cleverness as well, and can score goals. So we think that he can be another guy to bring in, get some USL minutes, and then progress from there. Getting back on the Champions League track, what did you learn last year that you could bring forward this yes, year? It's a good question. First is that we weren't fit enough. Uh, I told the team at the end when we lost to Vancouver that we didn't lose that series that day. We lost it in December. So I expect our group to come in very fit and ready to go. Um, we have to have an urgency to preseason. We have to have 
um, a commitment to make sure that we squeeze as much out of every day as possible, and uh, and then what those games are about. Everything from the travel to to the weather to playing early in the year. Uh, you know, we'll have to be prepared. But but I know that our our group learned from last year, and I think it'll help prepare us uh, more for this year. Are you changing your training regimen early on for the because of the fitness? Well. Uh, you know, we'll have to assess that quickly and see exactly where we're at. I know there's been a big group that, you know, like even yesterday they had uh, 11 v 11 at Red Bull training facility of guys that are training and getting ready to go. So, um, you know, a lot of the guys have been pushing really hard uh, for at least a month and, and we're hopeful to see a group that is really ready to go. And if they are, then that can accelerate the process. That's for sure.